Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and I just wanted to give you guys, some of you that don't have our early release, or maybe aren't playing Connected Franchise, I just wanted to give you a quick look at over at it. Um, this is, uh, there are a bunch of different interfaces for it, um, and I'll go over them. Uh, this is the one I started with the Eagles. Uh, I'm doing it as an owner because you really get more control over stuff. Uh, you get a little ad 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 added uh, stuff that you can do, a little bit more fun things and stuff like that. So here we go. Click this to play your game. Obviously, these are the standings for, like usual, where you can check the standings for the league, uh, your division and whatnot. Um, Pretty much, uh, well, I'm the only team left undefeated. There are a bunch of 4 and 1 teams. Uh, believe there's a couple, yeah, Browns are 0 and 5. You look at stuff like that, it'll show you your NFC, or you'll, it'll show you your division standings right there, so you can just real quick see how you're doing. This advances the league, or the week, uh, after you've played your game, or if you're in a league, or in a, like, online franchise with a bunch of people. Um, the commissioner will advance week. Media statements, you can see what you've said to the media when asked questions. Um, and you'll see, like, what it, what uh, the consequences and the positives to it, like 10% fan happiness for a winning season and minus 15% for a losing season. Uh, goals, you can see what goals you have um, just for XP and whatnot. I don't know. This is just for legacy, actually. This isn't for any certain amount of... XP, let's see here, three Super Bowl losses, <laughs> one Super Bowl, most of this is just for Super Bowls, huh, okay, I want, I don't know, I need to change a couple things about this, but, uh, news, here you can see news, just kind of like last year, they got the Twitter on the right, they've got the top stories right here, you see my stories, uh, you got all stories and my stories, uh, the top story, stuff like that, pretty much the same as last year. Let's see here, let's go over the actions. Right here, you can practice, you can play your season game, you can progress players. I think it's pretty much like last year. I progressed my players at the beginning in the off season, so yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. Let me click on not not Lane Johnson. Let me click on Vic, and we can see we can see uh, kind of what upgrades there are. Short. Short accuracy, medium throw accuracy, Snickers awareness, uh, deep accuracy, play action carry. Ooh, let me. Uh, I might have to upgrade his carrying because I don't know why he really he hasn't he's only fumbled once, and the only reason why he fumbled is because he got hurt on that play. So I don't even know if I need to upgrade that elusiveness, consistency, tuck and run, throw on the run. Trucking, pretty much all the same thing. Force pass trade. They got some more different traits. Senses pressure, Gatorade development, uh, agility, speed, acceleration, ball carrier vision, stamina, juke. Pretty much all the same type of things. Uh, pretty much just gets more more expensive as the uh, overall goes up. Pretty much. Uh, so then you also have, let's see here, you got scouting where you can scout upcoming players for the draft. I actually forgot to do this. I've been forgetting to do this. I did in import the uh, the draft uh, the draft class that will be coming up. As you can see, uh, there's not really anybody great in this draft uh, down here. Let's see here. Let's look at some quarterbacks. Got Kevin Coulter, or Kane Coulter. Why did I say Kevin? Kane Coulter out of Northwestern. Really, he's the... He's the best quarterback. Then A.J. McCarron, Taj Boyd, Jordan Lynch, Aaron Murray, Taylor Martinez is in this draft. No good running backs, really. Da, da, da. Fullback, a decent fullback. Jeremy Gallen, wide receiver out of Michigan. As the top wide receiver, Josh Huff out of Oregon. Uh, I really want to get to the year where DeAnthony Thomas and Marquise Lee come out, but that's at least going to be the third year because they didn't come out until the third year in my, uh, in my, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But I think I need to go after a corner in this, but, so let's see who's, who's here. We got EJ Gaines, Justin Gilbert, uh, nothing too, no great corners. Uh, let's see here about safeties, Ed Reynolds. So they were they were right when they said that this wouldn't be exactly perfectly um, 
like calibrated to fit like how how it needs to be because King Coulter is definitely not going to be the best quarterback this year. Uh, he's definitely not going to be better than AJ McCarron or Taj Boyd. I know that, but let me hold on. Let me scout Taj Boyd's speed. I want to see this. A B. I'll pay the rest to see it. 77 speed, not bad for Taj Boyd. Uh, let's go to the next one to the owner. This is the biggest thing right here. The team value. Uh, so I'm the 8th most valuable team in the NFL. Uh, team success, I'm 2nd. Popularity, I'm on the rise, I'm 7th. Staff Stadium, they're staying steady at 12th and 7th. And Concessions, Merchandise, and Ticket are on the upside. Uh, finances, here you can go into here. And you can control the prices of tickets. And you can see right next to it, you will... Hold on, actually... Oh, it doesn't say it anymore. Now it just says capacity, I think, in merchandise. Yeah, here you go. You can see the current price that you're posting it at, which I'm posting it at 99 and the average price of $110. Then you can see the sold, uh, how many have been sold and how much money you made off of them. Usually putting it a little bit lower will help it sell more. Uh, actually, you can see, you can tab over here. You can look at specialty jerseys like Michael Vick, Sean Jackson. I did sign Randy Moss, so he has a jersey. Sean McCoy, Jeremy Macklin, and a Michael Vick autographed football, and a Rydal mini helmet. So you can do that stuff. You can con control concessions here. Uh, they got the basic uh, things that pretty much like any stadium has. Chips, fries, peanuts, chicken salad, and soda. Uh, they got the two-star items, stromboli, coffee, hoagies, nachos, and shakes. Got the three-star items in pizza, popcorn, Philly cheesesteak, tacos, and wings. And four-star items in chicken fingers, cotton candy, vanilla ice cream, onion rings, and the original soft pretzel. And they have five-star, but I need to upgrade the concessions in the stadium to be able to buy them. And that's barbecue. I can't see what's under the word upgrade. Uh, pulled pork, water ice, snow cone, and a turkey leg. I already upgraded my stadium once, which was stupid, because now you can see I'm kind of under, I'm kind of negative. But here's the team revenue. You can see uh, I've got negative 1.55 million, 1.55 mil. Uh, the income last week, because uh, I didn't have a home game, I didn't make all that much money, and I won't make that much. I've had like three away games in a row, uh, so it's kind of screwed that up. But that's all the finances you can do, but that's pretty cool. Uh, marketing. This will kind of show you the player marketing and how marketable they are, like Michael Vick, Jersey Sales. You can see NFL Top 10, like Eli Manning, which I just played and he threw four interceptions. So, yeah, that makes sense. Aaron Rodgers, see Witten, Kaepernick, uh, Tannehill, Luck, Marshall, Romo, Matt Ryan. To start the season, it was like Brady, Manning, Welker, Rodgers. I think those were like the top four. They had jerseys, so um, not too bad for my guys, but I, I'd like to get somebody up there on the top ten eventually. Team popularity, you can see it by national popularity, regional, and local. So 77% popularity over the, national, over the nation, 65% popularity. I'm guessing that's in the state of, like in the states of Philadelphia, New York. Massachusetts, I don't know, states like that. And then local is probably in Philadelphia. Um, and then media relations, uh, that's pretty much just, again, uh, the statements and the questions that I answered. Uh, here we go to the stadium where you can do the upgrades and whatnot. Uh, you can upgrade your stadium right there, um, which I can't do, really. You can go over to Team Store. You can upgrade the Team Store. Uh, you can see how much it costs. Like, I don't have... I think I have to upgrade. I don't know what I have to upgrade. You can upgrade parking. You can upgrade the team store, fan zone, bathrooms, concessions, and seating. Which I think if you upgrade the seating, it should give you more uh, money, like incoming money, along with team store. I don't know about the fan zone. I think that'll make your fans happier. Bathrooms will make your fans happier. Uh, concessions will make you more money. And I don't know about parking. I think that'll make the fans happier. Uh, but I don't know. I don't. I you have to pay twenty thousand. I think initially to be able to get to this point. And then I'm not sure what you gotta do after that to to get past the locked. I don't know. 
Uh, I think you got to get the rating to be over four to be less. Must be less than forty. I don't know. I don't know. But no, that's I don't know. I'll figure that out. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, fan happiness here. You can go to this chick and you can see uh, your fan happiness, uh, team success, popularity, all that stuff. I already went over roster rating, uh, stuff like that. Let's go over to staff. Now you can mess around with your staff, hire people, fire people. Uh, Chip Kelly, I could fire him. I don't. I can upgrade him, I guess, right now. But I can I can fire him later, like at the end of the season. Uh, scout and trainer. I'll probably fire my trainer. He kind of sucks, and uh, I have the option to fire him at the end of the year. So that's that for uh, staff and then team success you can see how successful your team has been uh, there's their historic record which the Eagles are actually negative historically and hardcore you can go over and look at uh, market size for the Dolphins is huge huge is there any one that's not huge because if there isn't that's just stupid yeah it's, it's stupid none of them are Oh, hold on. That might just... Okay. I think, actually, it might just be... Um, that thing on the left is just the Eagles, and I can't look at anybody else's except their trend, how they're trending. Uh, so that does it all for that, for all the owner things, which is a lot, and it's pretty exciting to do. Uh, managing the roster, you can come to here. They added a couple new things. Um, I don't think they added... They didn't add anything new to roster. You just go here, and it's, it looks exactly the same thing. Uh salaries you can review the salaries for every single player uh, like the punter here who's got a nine hundred thousand um, dollar salary got Sean McCoy with a forty million dollar salary uh, just stuff like that you gotta keep in mind and look at so you can uh, what you might call it you can keep on budget if you're playing with salary cap and then you can man release if you're a player you can retire if you're a player or retire as a coach or retire as an owner I guess uh, you can re-sign players here it's pretty much the exact same thing if you come look at it yeah it's pretty much the exact same thing uh, I already re-signed the two biggest people I needed uh, which was Jeremy Macklin and my left hand I forget his name uh, depth chart is the same pretty much just put players in I uh, traded Nick Foles and Matt Barkley for Tyrod Taylor. So that was, I don't know, I just like Tyrod Taylor. That's really the only reason I traded for him. If you go back to the team, let's go back to the team. You can go to Improve Roster, which this is new and really cool. Uh, team Needs, this is exactly the same. This isn't anything new. It just shows you what you need and whatnot. If you go over here to Free Agency, you can look at all the free agents and sign any of them that you want. I mean, it's exactly like the old-time thing where they have a salary they want, and you either got to pay them or you don't sign them. Uh, so you, Randy Moss is here when you start. Uh, he's the highest rated guy. He's an 85 overall wide receiver, which is far and above uh, any other wide receiver you have a choice of. Uh, he was 2 mil, I think, to sign him, and it was definitely worth it for me. Uh, the Trade Center is really new and improved. Uh, the Trade Block, where you can look at who's on the Trade Block and stuff like that. Uh, usually it's nobody good. Uh, but still, it's something to look at. This is where I found Tyrod Taylor. He was on here. And so you can just go look up on here. Look for some backups, maybe. Or if your team's really struggling, you can go look for a starter. I mean, a bad team, Colt McCoy, you could sign him for a starter. Tyrod Taylor was a, is a 77, so he was the best rated. Uh, they got, like, you can look by team for who's on there. Uh, Taylor Mays, Eddie Pleasant. You can just look at anything here. Figure out if you want to sign any of these guys. I thought about signing or trading for Richard Marshall, but... He's a little expensive, so I decided not to. Uh, you can click Upgrade a Position here and say I wanted to upgrade my right outside linebacker. Um, I don't want the Dolphins. You can go to... Oh, you can only search... Okay, you can search by player, and you can get, like, Lance Briggs here. I could select him, and it'll put him on the Bears offer. And then I can... I forget how you do this. I think... I don't remember how to do it. I don't remember... I don't, you just back out. You really just go look at that. Oh, here we go. Then you go over to Manual Trade, and Lance Briggs will be there. You can do over here. Pretty much the same, but uh, that little addition helps a lot. You can go look at your quarterbacks, halfbacks, whatever, and uh, send them up for trade. Um, and then it'll either say uh, rejected or accepted like it usually does. It's a little bit cooler of a screen, but I'm not going to show you guys that because I don't want to risk something getting accepted that I don't want. 
Uh, they can go, let's see here, what else is there? Injury report, uh, pretty much the same strategy, auto subs, pretty much the same with schemes and all that. Uh, if you go over, actually, can look at the total offensive and defensive, pretty much the same as years before. can look at it by um, NFL, divisions, uh, everything right there. can sort it like usual um, by offense or whatever. Uh, you can see that the Patriots are the, 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 have the most total yards as an offense. I'm probably the most balanced. I got 1,000 throwing and 1,000 rushing. I have the most rushing yards because I have Vic who has 600 and I have uh, McCoy who has 400 yards rushing. Uh, you can look at the offensive levers like right there. You see Tom Brady's got 1,600 passing yards already. Uh, I've got 614 yards rushing with Vic already. And Welker's got 612 receiving yards. Uh, which means Brady has thrown for, what would that be, at least 300 yards in every game, like 320 or something like that. You can look here at the defensive leaders. Uh, Deion Jordan's got nine sacks in five games. That's pretty good. Nigel Bradham and Mason Foster have three interceptions each as well. You can look at the schedule. That's pretty much the same. You can review the transactions. Uh, you can look at players re-signed. Uh, you can look at signed re-signed, franchise tagged, drafted, traded, um, actually, people actually do trade it, trades, wow, that's interesting, uh, Eagles traded a draft, Eagles traded 2014 round, oh, here we go, I traded them Barkley in the fifth round draft pick for Tyra Taylor, and then, I forget, I, at Nick Foles, I traded them Nick Foles as well for something, and then they released Nick Foles, it was just a weird thing, uh, released, you can see the players that were released, and you can look at the players that retired, which there aren't any right now because I'm in the middle of the season. Uh, so you can go on here and look at, like, see uh, who's available, um, if any roster changes have been made on other teams, kind of stuff like that. Or in your division, you can look at that. Uh, awards is weekly and yearly awards. We can go look at weekly. Uh, yeah, you can see Michael Vick, NFC Offensive. 16 for 22, 160 yards, 3 touchdowns, no interceptions, 6 carries, 105 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, you just look at stuff like that. Peyton Manning, um, Barcavius Mingo. Let's see here. Let's go all the way back. Let's see how many I got. Uh, didn't get one week one. Drew Brees lit it up. Michael Vick got it week two. Tom Brady. Uh, Vick got it week three. Vick, Vick got it week four. And Vick got it week five. Dang it, I should... I could I could have swept the first five weeks if I could have just gotten week one, but I struggled week one. I, we played the Redskins, and I threw like two interceptions or something like that. Yearly awards, uh, we're not that far yet, and we're not that far for Pro Bowl voting. So I don't know if they let you play the Pro Bowl this year. If you guys want to see uh, how to import your draft class from NCAA, uh, just let me know. Uh, I can do a video on that. I can't. I won't. Uh, I could do it right now. I guess I could start up a new franchise and just show you guys real quick. But let me know. I know there's already people that have put up videos on it, but maybe some of you haven't seen them. So just let me know if you want to see those. Uh, sorry for the lengthy video, but I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, the new owner mode for uh, Madden 25. It's reminiscent of the 2012 franchise mode where you can mess around with stadiums and whatnot. But this is a little bit better, a little bit more improved and whatnot, so let me know what you guys think of it, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys later, peace out.